Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Pastoral Thoughts Podcast. A quick podcast today with you. I wanted to share something that I've learned here in the last uh, couple weeks. I like to talk about books on this podcast and uh, love good books. And one of the things that I try to do is capture the things that I discover in good books. I have a verse for you, Proverbs 10, 14. Wise men lay up knowledge. But the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. It says, wise men lay up knowledge. One thing we learned from the book of Proverbs is that wisdom we're supposed to seek after as treasure, as gold, that we're to desire her, we're to seek her, we're to find her. And then it says to lay up knowledge. It says in Proverbs that the ant prepares her meat in the summer. What does the ant do? Go out and gathers and stores up. And so as we're reading good books, we want to lay up, we want to capture that knowledge. There's something I've done for quite a while now, and that's keep a mastermind journal. And I'll write down highlights from books in the mastermind journal. Then also, if I hear a real good quote, I'll write it down in the mastermind journal as well. I heard a good quote last week, and that was uh, regarding children. It says, children first idolize their parents. And then they demonize their parents, think of the teenage years. And then number three, they humanize their parents when they get into adulthood. They give mom and dad a break and see them as humans. They don't idolize them. They don't demonize them anymore. They humanize them uh, in adulthood. I thought, man, that's really good. I'm going to go write that down in my mastermind journal, and I have it right here. And I'd forget that unless I wrote it down. Remember that a short pencil is better than a long memory. Uh, I came across the problem in reading and mastermind journaling, and that is some books, like this book I have with me here in my hands, uh, some books I start highlighting page after page after page. Every other page has a highlight on it, and it takes me hours upon hours to write down all the great highlights in the book. Uh, so this particular book is Lectures on Preaching by Phillips Brooks, delivered in 1877 to Yale, and it is a classic. And so I've got page after page here highlighted. Uh, and so I've used voice-to-text in the past. But I think, well, I was so excited. You know, the Lord gave me this idea, I believe. I thought, voice the text right into Microsoft Word. And then, Jack, you can print out the highlights from your book. Just speak the text. Voice the text works very good. Uh, if you've never used it before, it's just simply like this. It'd say, uh, here I'm looking at my page. Topic for a single sermon, comma. The sermon for the next Sunday, comma. Be selected, question mark. I answer there are three principles which have a right to enter into the decision, period. New paragraph. And so it's just as easy as that. Uh, and it really c captures voice to text, all the different highlights. And so then I can put that into Microsoft Word. I can print that out. And then I hold in my hands a beautiful three ring binder. And here it's got different um, divisions, little tabs that I have for each and every one of my books that I printed out. And let me say this also is that if you read on a Kindle, you can export your Kindle highlights into Microsoft Word and you can print that out. Uh, and I like to keep a hard copy and then I also keep a digital copy on my computer and I can come back later and look at my highlights. And let me say, um, I've read good books before and come across profound things. Uh, you will not remember them uh, for a long duration of time. And so I'll look at my highlights and think, man, that's really, really good. And I'm so thankful that I wrote it down because I would never have remembered it uh, otherwise. And then if you're a Sunday school teacher or you're a pastor or uh, just anybody, uh, it's good to store up knowledge, good to store up wisdom. It's good to have things accessible to you. Uh, and, um, and so Mastermind Journal, do that. Number two, just remember that if you have a bunch of highlights in a book, voice to text, print it out, put it in a nice folder. You can access that information later. I recommend uh, go over, going over your mastermind journal, at least like uh, once a week, do a page or two pages from your mastermind journal, read your own high, your old highlights. Uh, and it'll be a blessing to you. And the last thing I want to challenge you with uh, as far as digesting books, and that is grouping. And what grouping is, is that you take about 10 or 15 books on a particular subject and you read them back to back to back to back. Um, 
Brother Jim Alter challenged me in this. I was at a meeting, and he said, Jack, you're a reader. He says, well, you need to pick a topic and read a dozen books on a subject. And so I'm doing that right now this year. I'm doing um, preaching, and I've got 10 classic books that I'm, I'm reading, and then I'm highlighting, and then I'm also masterminding, journaling them as well. One of the things that this does for you is when you study a topic for, let's say, months on end, you're reading about a topic for months on end that um, transfers from short-term to long-term memory. And then also, if you're highlighting and mastermind journaling all your highlights, you're accumulating that knowledge. So as you're reading the book, you're mastering the topic. And it's kind of like compound interest uh, as you go along. It's a cumulative knowledge. And then you have a really good handle uh, on the issue or on the topic that you're studying. In, and you'll be able to recall that uh, probably for years. And especially if you take good notes on the subject and you've got that information accessible to you. Uh, and so that's all, folks. Thank you for listening. I hope this was a blessing to you. Uh, if you got any other ideas, leave those in the comments section. And uh, may, make sure that you like, subscribe, uh, and stay tuned. We've got some more exciting episodes coming up. God bless each and every one. Thank you so much today for watching this podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Also, if you'd like to reach out to us by way of email, you can email us at pastoralthoughtsmail at gmail.com. And if you'd like to, I do write a blog, and you can subscribe to that at pastorjack.org. Thank you, God bless you, and have a great day.